A pediatric hospice and palliative care fellowship at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital provides a trainee with access to expert clinical faculty in the field, an innovative academic structure, and the resources of Johns Hopkins Medicine. We draw patients from around the globe and feature a learner-centric environment that encourages excellence in both clinical skill and scholarship. I think our hospital itself is unique because we have patients with such high medical complexity and such intricate and unique pathology that it gives the palliative care fellow an opportunity to really meet patients in unique situations and circumstances and help families navigate them as we're also learning about these pathologies and medical technologies and advances at the same time. Founded in 1926, Johns Hopkins All Children's is a 259-bed teaching hospital in St. Petersburg, Florida. In 2011, we became the first U.S. hospital outside the Baltimore-Washington region to join the Johns Hopkins Health System. In 2018, we opened a dedicated research and education building on the main campus, which is home to our grant-funded scientists and biorepository, the Center for Medical Simulation and Innovative Education, and the Office of Medical Education, which includes a lounge and collaborative classroom spaces for trainees. World-renowned neurosurgeon George Jallo is our Vice Dean and Physician-in-Chief and leads the Institute for Brain Protection Sciences. We have a unique educational program here at Johns Hopkins All Children's. Our trainees, aside from doing their clinical uh, responsibilities, have the opportunity to learn about clinical research as well as basic science research. There's an emphasis on the whole person and their opportunity to learn rather than just providing basic care to the children. Here at All Children's, from the start, we are talking about your scholarship project. So when I got here, I knew I wanted to be involved in medical education, and so I was really able to tailor my scholarship project to something that is involving residents and trainees in medical education because that's a long-term goal of mine. Johns Hopkins All Children's is modernizing graduate medical education with the idea of training the next generation of pediatric specialists. Dr. Laura Drock is director of the Hospice and Palliative Care Fellowship Program. Medical education is really more than just book learning. It's a really has to do with hands-on experience and those day-to-day -day interactions you have with families. It's not something that you can read in a book. It's taught by role modeling, mentoring, and watching those interactions with families. We are totally pediatrics. A lot of programs are kind of split between an adult and pediatric uh, focus, but we are strictly pediatrics. On top of that, two-thirds of our hospital uh, deals with ICU children, and so about two-thirds of the hospital really is helping children that really are seriously medically ill. And we have some niche programs here that you might not find at another fellowship program. Some of those things that you might be exposed to are children that are getting bone marrow transplants, our CAR-T therapy, we have a program here for congenital diaphragmatic hernias, and we have a heart transplant program as well. People always ask me why I specialized in palliative care. You know, most pediatricians, all pediatricians actually will encounter patients and families who are going through difficult situations, you know, life-changing diagnoses, challenging situations, and for me I wanted to be best equipped to be able to to help those families and support those families through those challenging moments. I had a patient who had an unknown and very complicated diagnosis. I spent an afternoon with the sister. I am a sister, so I really identified with her and her needs and I answered her questions and kind of met her at her level. On a different admission, I went to see them again and the sister was still there and visiting with her brother, but she brought me something and it was a purse and it just said thank you at the top. And she gave it to me, she was in tears, and she said thank you for remembering me, thank you for talking to me. A lot of times we don't think about the sisters, we think about the moms and the dads and we think about the kids, but we also don't we often don't think about the sisters and the brothers who are also at the bedside. That was a really touching experience and it's, I have it on my desk and it's a reminder to think about the sisters, think about the brothers, think about the other people that this kid is touching that we also need to address and support and help.
The Hospice and Palliative Care Fellowship offers both structure and flexibility. The fellows' interests influence the path they take. In our program, we basically have about six months of inpatient consult service, two months of hospice, uh, a month of experience with our pain team. Uh, you have a month elective in which you can choose which experience you would like to have. There's many to choose from. Usually what we offer to the fellow is an opportunity to pick something that they're interested in or where they see themselves specializing in the future. We also have a month where we spend in the clinics. That is really where our seriously medically ill children go for specialty care. So you will spend time in the transplant clinic, you will spend time in the hemonc uh, clinic, you will spend time in the ventilation clinic. So there's a lot of experience is there. Palliative care for me is thinking about the patient in the most holistic way possible. So I think by spending time building rapport and relationships with patients and families, we're really able to help direct care toward their goals and really honoring their values. Sometimes that looks like symptom management, caring for patients with severe pain or refractory nausea. Sometimes that's really helping families make medical decisions regarding medical technology, tracheostomies, or uh, long-term feeding tubes. And sometimes it does involve end-of-life discussions and advanced care planning. But really, because we're able to get to know these families, we're able to honor the patient's dignity and their values. We hope when our pediatric palliative care fellow graduates from this program that they leave with the confidence to take care of children and their families with serious medical illness. The healthcare landscape is always changing and as they go into this field, they are going to see more technology than they ever had during their earlier uh, careers as a fellow. So I think it's important that when they leave, they know that they have the skill set to be able to continue to practice uh, good medicine as they leave. Our graduate medical education programs are strengthened by the addition of individuals with diverse backgrounds, life experiences, and talents united by a commitment to excellence and patient care. The characteristics we look for in a pediatric palliative care fellow is one that you might not typically hear. We look for somebody that describes this field as a calling to them, someone that's compassionate, has a strong work ethic, and really cares about people. I think that's really important for this field because there are going to be tough days in which you are going to have to lean on friends, families, and your other colleagues for support. I think my best piece of advice for fellows going through this application process is to find a team, find people in a program that you really feel like you're going to fit into. There's going to be really hard days, there's going to be really hard situations, and this fellowship can be really challenging. So find a team, find a place where you really feel like you're gonna fit and feels like home to you. I know I'm in the right place because even when the days are hard and even when the moments are challenging, I still feel like it is a privilege to be able to be here with these families.